Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to design Singles Relationship Survey Flyer in Photoshop. So if you are new to my YouTube channel, then please subscribe and also click the bell icon so you may never miss any of this from my channel. Okay, um, you will press um, Ctrl plus N from your keyboard. And set this to um, 26 inches by 19 inches. The resolution, let's make it 300. Then press OK. The next thing we are going to do is let's set uh, our color. Let's let red. So we use this color and press OK. So you will press Alt plus backspace to fill the color from your keyboard. Okay. The next thing is uh, you will select the rectangle tool from your toolbar and let's change the color to white. You can press X from your keyboard to change it. After that, let's draw it. After drawing this, you will go to your toolbar and select the rounded rectangle tool from your toolbar and set your radius to 218 and draw this. Let's move it a little bit upwards. So you will paste um, your logo. Control T uh, to transform, and you press the shift key, and you can you press the shift key to um, increase the size or decrease the size. So let's increase the size a little bit. Okay. Let's reduce this too. Okay, the next thing we are going to do is you will press um, the control key and select the logo layer or the upper layer. And click on the horizontal align horizontal centers to align it and move it a little bit upwards. Control T, let's reduce the size. Okay, so the next thing we are going to do is let's bring the name of the church. Press T from your keyboard or select the uh, horizontal type tool from your toolbar. Let's write the name of the church. Okay, you press Control A to select all. Let's select the size. Control plus A. You select the uh, characters and let's move this a little bit downwards. Let's change the font. Mm -hmm. Okay, the next thing you are going to do is you press T from your keyboard or select the horizontal type tool from your toolbar. Press here, let's let's increase the size. Okay. 
So control T to transform it and let's turn it a little bit. Okay. You press um you from your keyboard or select the rectangle to Okay, so I press um, Ctrl T to transform it. Right click and select skill. Move this a little bit backwards. Do this the same to this. Ctrl T and turn it a little bit sideways. Press T from your keyboard. Uh, let's change this color to, let's use the wine color. Increase the size by pressing here, press and hold here. Let's drag it. A control T to transform it and let's turn it a little bit. Okay. So you press the control key and select and click on this layer, the layer below it. Press V from your keyboard and like this. Extend this a little bit. Okay. So you press T from your keyboard. Okay, let's select um, white. Okay, so you press uh, Control T from your keyboard to transform it and extend this. Okay, so you will select the um, Eclipse tool from your toolbar and let's drag it. Okay, let's change the color to by double clicking here. So this color as FFCC00. And press T from your keyboard. Let's change the color to black. Let's use this color. All line. Let's move it a little bit, of course. Okay, so we are going to group um, these layers. So what we will do is we will select this layer and press the um, shift key from our keyboard and let's select um, and click on this layer. So you can see the uh, it has made, uh, we have made selection on um, the layers we want to group. So you will press um, Control G from your keyboard to group it. So, as you can now see, it has been grouped.
first thing from your keyboard and type uh, in the, the team, the team for the program. So they select this color, the yellow one. change this color to white let's move this let's reduce the size Okay, the color to change the color to um black. Time to change the color to Size. Wait up. Okay, increase the size. Let's group this layer by pressing Ctrl J to group it. Let's move it a little bit sideways. Let's move this here. To okay. Okay. The next we are going to do is um, we are going to paste our our picture. So I've already copied my. So I'll press um the control plus V on my keyboard. Control T to transform it. Which side was between this here and the which side. Okay, come to this here.
So I'll add a layer mask here. Um, you select, um, you press E from your keyboard, that's the eraser tool. Or select the eraser tool from your keyboard, from your toolbar. Um, set, select this brush and reduce your, your opacity to um, 40 or the size you want. Okay, what we are going to do is we want to put a picture here at the background. So let's scroll down and select the last layer. That's the background layer. And I have already copied my picture, so I'll just press um, the Control plus V to paste it. You can also go to um, File, Open, and select where your picture is. So I'll reduce the opacity. Reduce the opacity to um, 20. Remove this a little bit. Okay, let me change the background color to white and I see. Okay, so we are done for today.